Thank you, Robin. Um, as ever, it's fantastic to see that stuff in action, isn't it? And to sort of understand the, uh, the accessibility applications and the way in which these things are designed to make it usable by so many different people. And that's really the point of uh, what we look for in terms of the awards, is things that change the way that you see things or uh, make, make the world look different in the sense of the people you think about and how the technology can help them. Um, next up, uh, we're going to hear from one of last year's winners. Uh, Jack is here from What Three Words. This was the winner of the BT Ingenious Award in 2015. And it's at this point that I'm going to stop any explanation whatsoever, because if you don't know what this is, uh, it really does need somebody who's an expert to explain it, I think. Am I going to show the video first, and then let's roll the video. Let's roll the video. music business for 10 years and actually the biggest problem we had was getting all of the musicians to the gigs. There would just be endless phone calls on the day from people getting utterly lost. We actually ended up employing a person on the schedule who was the guy that you called when you thought you were near but you were actually lost. I just thought there has to be a better way that we could do this. So I was going to fix this by being the tech-savviest music producer in town. I was going to use GPS coordinates. But I realised that 18 digits and a couple of letters didn't really work with people because we had this new problem, which was... Hi, Chris. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not sure you are here. Well, I think I'm here. I've come to 28.169248... Ah, uh, hang on. Did you mean 84? Yes, I did. Ah. Well, I think I might be another couple of hours. So a couple of years ago, I had a cup of tea with a mathematician friend of mine. I said, we've got to find a way to do this. What we knew is we had to label the 57 trillion or so three meter squares in the world with something. And we thought about using the dictionary. We worked out that if you took a list of 40,000 words, you ended up with enough unique sequences of three words that you could label each three meter square with a three word address, like table, chair, spoon. So that's what we did, and we made a grid for the whole world. So with our app, you can now navigate to any three word combination on the planet, even if you're offline. And we've also added some error detection technology. So if you make that slight mistake, it definitely won't go to the wrong place. And this has all now been replicated in eight languages. We realized that there were many bigger implications for this. There's a UN statistic. Four billion people actually live without an address. If you don't have an address, you're basically invisible. You can't get mail, you can't be counted by your government, and it's practically impossible to start a business. But with what three words, we could enable deliveries in unaddressed cities. We could accurately label water points in rural areas for delivering aid in a humanitarian crisis and getting life-saving medicine to people in informal communities. You can say where you live, where you work. You can start to become a part of your country's economy. All of that and my musicians don't miss their gigs. I'm not actually the mathematician. The actual mathematician didn't want to be in the video. Um, so, so there we go. Um, so, so, you've got to be honest. You've got to be honest. Um, so um, hopefully that tells you a little bit about the big idea behind, um, behind what three words. Um, and we, we try, we, over the last year or so, the last couple of years, we've been trying to make it much more of an idea and a concept. And it's actually becoming a thing, a thing that people use. Um, as the video touched on, poor addressing has a massive impact with hours lost getting, um, getting muddled abroad. Um, UPS have a statistic that if they could save one mile per driver per year, that would save them $50 million. And just generally knowing where, th where things are. And we've been discovering over the last couple of years that a, a simple way to refer to location really is crucial. It's, it's fundamental. You can drive efficiencies. 
you can save lives, you can improve experience. And it's this combination of doing business and doing good, working together, that, that has proven to be a, a really powerful, powerful combination. Um, showing on, the, on the, the screen here a Google map image, um, which has some latitude, longitude coordinates in the middle. And this is what you'd get on Google Maps. It looks like an empty, barren, um, gray area with just a few streets there. But if you look at the satellite view, there's really quite a lot going on there. We've got hundreds of thousands uh, of people living there in a massing, massive, sprawling uh, cityscape. And these people don't, don't have an address. So what we've created with What Three Words is this common location language that anyone can use wherever they are in the world, a consistent format for, for talking about things. So for us, it, it's about doing good and doing business. And one of the things that the, the Tech for Good Awards really helped us with um, this time last year when we were entering it and focusing our minds was exactly how these two worlds come together. People say to us, well, you know, you know, we've got, we've got investors who want to make, a, make money out of us, and, and you know, we're, we're, we're on the surface a commercial entity, but, the, but at the same time, we know that what we've created is extremely powerful in helping people in this country and all around the world, and finding that intersection of how you can do, do the two at the same time. And they feed each other, they help each other. So for individuals, our solution is intended always to be free. For not-for-profit organisations, it's intended that we charge a very nominal, if not uh, free, price, or it's scaled, um, depending on um, depending on world economic indicators for you know country-level uh, adoption. And for businesses who are getting direct economic benefit out of it, well, they're going to be paying for it, and they're going to be helping us to do some of the good that, that we're going to be doing as well. It's 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 a it's a well-established model in other businesses, and, and one that we think we, we can use. Um, so how, how do we use our big idea, our big concept, to actually be a thing and to help people use it? Well, we have our own free mobile apps and website, which a lot of our, particularly our humanitarian and our f for good partners will use. They'll be, using, um, they'll be using our apps and our website completely out of the box as they're trying to find places and telling people the three-word address of where they live to write it on a sticker, stick it on the fridge, um, stick it on the door so that they can tell people where they are. Um, we have our own um, API and uh, uh, both offline and online API. That means that third parties can build their own solutions with what three words. They can build it into their own apps, into their own websites, and their own technology. And people have been doing this um, now, and this is what we try to do. So I'm going to show you a few examples of the, you know, the sort of business and the for good applications and how these, these intersect. So what three words is being used to help people navigate more easily. One of our bigger integrations so far is in an app called NavMe, which is an offline navigation app. That's particularly powerful with what three words with their offline uh, maps and the ability to have the entire addresses of the entire planet on your device stored offline. This means you can go into very remote places. Um, you can download the relevant bit of, bit of the map perhaps before you've, before you've gone, um, but still it's built into this off-the-shelf navigation software. What three words is being used to deliver packages. In the video we saw, we saw um, a company called Cartero Amigo who are a delivery company operating in the favelas in Rio de Janeiro and they now are able to find their customers much more easily with three word addresses. Um, and some of their customers will have the technology to communicate their three word address when they buy things online with Cartera Amigo's e-commerce partners. Some of them don't. And this is where the, uh, the friendly postman, that's what Cartera Amigo comes in, and they will write on the label so that next time they know where they live. And this starts to build part of an ecosystem that can help businesses and it can help the, the, the more for good side of things. Um, what three words is being used in emergency response? Um, the example I'm showing on the screen here shows some images uh, in, a, in a ski resort um, where we've been integrated into a, a few different types of apps that can help people report where they are um, and you know, unmapped areas, perhaps there's been an avalanche, things don't quite look the same as they did before, or you just got hopelessly lost and you need to be able to report in where you are. You may well not have a data connection, but you can probably have a radio connection or a phone connection. What three words has been integrated into an app called UN Assign, which is a app used by um, used by the UN and encouraged by others, um, the UN encourage others to use it to help report disaster locations and places where things are happening. 
Um, a more developed world example here being used to manage major events. So we were used at the Glastonbury Festival last year, and we like to sort of use this as an example. As for people who aren't familiar with some of the problems encountered in temporary uh, accommodation or impromptu settlements, <coughs> thinking of the festival scenario really, really sort of helps one understand it. You see this massive, massive uh, tents, and you imagine a situation where someone finds a steward um, and says, you know, my friend's, you know, uh, you know, done something that he shouldn't have done and is extremely ill um, or has, you know, hurt, broken their leg. They say, okay, so where are you? And say, they're in the blue tent and that's not great. Um, and you imagine the situation and you take it to a hum humanitarian example and there's no addressing system. There's th places the size of large, small or large cities and the three word address can help people find it very quickly. So the um, festival medical services who are using us at uh, Glastonbury this year say that they're did not find count was dramatically lower as a result of their very light touch first first go at what three words and you know obviously our hope and their hope is that this this will expand uh, in, in this usage. Um, ooh, so I've got rather a, a over oversized headline there, but it, what it says is being used by um, being used by uh, companies and NGOs and people in over 170 countries. Um, if you can imagine the headline squishing down a little bit. Um, and part of our strategy is to get people using it um, at the moment almost entirely for free, whether they're businesses or humanitarian or NGOs or charities, it doesn't matter. We know that to be as useful as we possibly can and to work our way towards becoming a standard, we need people to use it. And the examples on here are, are from a wide range of, uh, of, of different, different places. Um, and, and for us, the awards have helped to drive awareness and boost credibility. And the Tech for Good Awards was one of the one of the uh, sort of earlier, bigger, more serious um, awards that we, we, we put ourselves forward for. And it kind of gave us, I guess it gave us, gave us the belief that we actually had something that was really of value across the full range of applications that we, that we thought it might be. Um, it helped us focus on exactly what was important. It helped us understand this sort of intersection between the headline message of helping the four billion people who don't have an address with the more developed world message of businesses can save and make money by, by using us. And this, this intersection, I think, is, is an important one. So off the back of the Tech for Good entry and the winning that, <laughs> the, the video you saw was from the Tech Awards. Um, um, we won a, a Can Lion, which is a prestigious sort of marketing uh, award. That was for, for innovation. That was the Grand Prix there and other more, more specialist ones as well. So I'd encourage anyone thinking of doing it, the, entering any award, and this one is, 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 a, is a great one, as it has been for us, really will help you focus, it gives you that credibility, it gives you that confidence, and you use the awards as, as your platform to reach a wider audience. Um, so what are we going to do next? Well, um, not expecting you to sort of study this chart in, in particular detail, but you'll see that this, this helps to sort of demonstrate how we're trying to do all these things and how, the, how they work together. At the very centre of what we're trying to do is to get people using what three words and understanding what three words. But we do that um, with a combination of improving lives through the humanitarian, government and emergency uses. Um, we do that by getting businesses using it for operational efficiency, such as in mail and logistics. Um, and we can improve experience in travel and events and generally make people's and businesses' lives a little bit easier. So at the end of the day, everyone and everywhere now has a very simple address and there are lots of things you can do with it. Um, and for us, a stepping stone is making people know about us. So um, I'd encourage anyone who's thinking of entering the awards to do so and discover your three-word address and share that with people because it's quite fun as well as being really useful. Thank you very much. Thank you.